Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Here's a quick overview of today's lesson. Um, it's going to give us a chance to get back to uh, the equations for lines. And if you need more of a review, um, I did post that video last week uh, helping you remember how you could graph equations. Um, so you might want to check that out. Um, today's lesson builds on that. And so just to recap quickly, um, when we have some kind of equation, um, the number multiplied by the x tells us how the line is growing. Um, and the constant here, without being multiplied by the x, is our starting value. So just as a quick example, if someone showed us y equals negative 2x plus 5, uh, that tells us this is a situation where the starting value is here at 0, 0,5. Um, and then the line is going to drop down two units each time as we go to the right. So it's looking something like that. So just keep that in mind, growth and starting value. So your job in these different equations is to decide whether the order makes sense. If it doesn't make sense, suggest a way to fix it. Um, and if it does make sense, then your job is to um, create the rule table and a graph. So an example of one that doesn't make sense is customer A. Customer A wanted something with a y-intercept of 0, negative 3, and the growth had to be 4. Um, what, what they've done here is, okay, here's customer A. What they've done here is they've mixed that up. So if the growth really is supposed to be 4, that should be multiplied by the x. And if it's starting at neg 0, negative 3, that should be the constant. So to answer customer A, um, you don't need to make a table or a graph or anything for this one. Um, you're just stating why you think it's an incorrect order, and you're suggesting how to fix it. Now, um, an example of a correct one would be customer C. Um, customer C has ordered the line y equals 2x minus 8. Um, and they want something that will go through 2, negative 4, okay, and 5, 2. So here to see if they've given the correct order, it's really about substituting these values. Our x value of 2 should give us a y value of negative 4. So 2 times 2 is 4 minus the 8 is negative 4. That's correct. And then we also need to check the 5 and the 2. So 2 times 5 is 10 minus the 8 is 2. So that's also correct. So this is an example of an order that is correct. Um, and that means in your composition book, then go ahead and create a table of values. Remember, it should run from negative 3 to positive 3. Um, and then make the, the graph to go with it. Um, and that's what you would complete for, for customer C. Um, the only other thing I'm asking you to do today, um, your, that's our main problem, 35. Once you have your answers to that, please go back to Google Classroom. And let's see, there's a follow-up question here. Um, what I'd like you to do is, let's take a look. What I'd like you to do is, uh, when you're done, explain which ones you think are not correct, uh, like we've seen that A is not correct. Um, and just pick one of those customer orders uh, and, and briefly explain why it was an incorrect order. Okay, please let me know if you have questions. You guys are doing an awesome job. Um, we're about halfway through the three weeks before spring break. So it's the rest of this week, next week, and, and then you don't have to worry about school for a week. Hang in there. Take care. Stay safe. If you have any good dumb jokes or, or silly memes, please pass them on. Haven't seen anything from you guys recently. Thank you.